This is Professor Darif Seitz. Averages. Averages give a measure of the center of a data set. Here we have a data set in the blue cells, 20 items. And notice that these items are in sorted order. It's not necessary for them to be in sorted order for these functions to work. It's just for our convenience to be able to understand things easier. Starting with the mean. The mean, its underlying formula, takes each item, adds them together to get a sum, and divides that sum by the number of items. Uses the average function in Excel. Note that if we take the last item here and make it much bigger, like 650, the mean goes up, whereas these other fields were unchanged. We'll see more why that's true as we get to those other fields. Put it back like it was. The median uses the median function is a measure of center that divides the data set into two equal subsets, each with the same number of data items. It, its underlying formula depends on whether you're dealing with an even number data set or an odd numbered. In our case, it's even numbered. So the two middlemost numbers will be averaged. That's why we have a an answer that does not appear as one of the items in the data set. If it's an odd number of items, then the middlemost one will be a natural divider and will be the answer for the median. Notice again that the median was not affected when we changed this to 650 because it didn't change the number of items on one side of it, just only changed the value of those items, the sum. The mode is the most frequently appearing data value. In our case, since it's sorted, we can start with the 20s and there's five of them, 21s, there's five of them. And if, if you have a larger count, you can look down here in this little status area, count five of what's selected. And so that's 520s, 521s, and the other numbers do not repeat that many times. There's actually a tie for the mode between 20 and 21. If we use the mode.sngl function, it gives us a single mode, the first one. If we use the multi-mode, m-u-l-t, mode.m-u-l-t, it gives us the 20 and the 21. Remember, if you want to use this spreadsheet, like it is, your data, when you replace uh, the data set here with yours, it's likely going to be a different number of items, and you'll have to change this range, at least the ending value, to wherever your data ends. And that's true for each one of these formulas. Alternatively, Instead of reusing the spreadsheet, if you just want to know the, the functions and use them yourself, that's very easy to do as well. You can bring up just your data set and your sp spreadsheet. Uh, you don't have to have uh, a template like this. You type your equal sign to start a formula. Type You, you know that, that it's average, so you do AV, and there it is. You double click, select your cells and hit enter and you'll get your answer very quickly. So there's two options with the spreadsheet. Reuse it as it is and adjust the parameters or learn the functions and just use them wherever you need to. In, in either case, <clears throat> it's a, a lot faster quicker to do these calculations using this technology rather than doing it more manually with a, a 
calculator where you have to go item by item adding them. It's going to eliminate errors that you can make easily by typing in the wrong number or skipping a number uh, and doing it manually without this technology can be frustrating and stressful. Having access to this quick way to get accurate answers uh, makes statistics work more enjoyable or tolerable. You can focus on the meaning of things and, and look at things from the bigger level, have more time for that than being focused on the the details and the time of trying to get an accurate answer out of a, a low-level uh, formula.